Good morning, everybody. I am Richard Puller, and the journal that I want to talk about today is the age-related preferences of leadership style, testing Matt Greger's X and Y theory. This journal is part of the literature of the term paper that I'm currently working on. My term paper for development management focuses on the management. The following names are the authors of this journal. Let me present to you the abstract of this study. In today's aging world where companies are facing an increasing share of older employees, it has become essential to understand the preferences and potential of this emerging group of workers. The focus of this research is to identify the age-related preferences of leadership using Theory Y and X developed by Douglas McGregor. The results suggest that the majority of employees prefer Theory Y management style over the Theory X style. Regardless of the age of employees, evidence shows that the results were in favor of Y theory management style. In addition, results captured a reflection of the preferred leadership style in relation to turnover, trust, and job satisfaction of employees. Before we dig deeper about this study, let me share you a little background about X and Y theory. In 1960, Douglas McGregor formulated Theory X and Theory Y, suggesting two aspects of human behavior at work. Or, in other words, two different views of individuals, one of which is negative, called as Theory X, and the other is positive, so-called as Theory Y. According to McGregor, the perception of managers on the nature of individuals is based on various assumptions. In Theory X, an average employee intrinsically does not like work and tries to escape it whenever it's possible. Since the employee does not like work, he must be persuaded, compelled, or warned with punishment so as to achieve organizational goals. Many employees run job security on top, and they have a little or no aspiration or ambition. Employees generally dislike responsibilities, employees resist change, and average employee needs formal direction. In theory, why employees can perceive their job as relaxing as normal, they exercise their physical and mental efforts in an inherent manner in their jobs. Employees may not require only threat, external control, and correction to work, but they can use self-direction and self-control if they are dedicated and sincere to achieve their organizational objectives. If the job is rewarding and satisfying, then it will result in employees' loyalty and commitment to organization. An average employee can learn to admit and recognize the responsibility. In fact, he can even learn to obtain the responsibility. Now let's jump on the findings of this study. In graph 1, this shows that um, the participants in the survey were mostly males, or 64%. As presented in graph 2, 35% of the survey participants' employees are in the age of group 50 years and above. From graph 3, we can see that 46% um, of employees finish secondary school, and 42% from the employees have finished graduate studies. It's kind of weird because here in the Philippines, majority of our workers here are degree holders, while in, you know, in other countries, um, most of their employees are only high school graduates. Here in graph 4, we can see that 64% of survey participants have more than 8 years of experience in the company. In graph 5, 75% um, of the survey participants answered that they have never been managers. Now, here's another graph here. As you can see, it's a bit complicated. It's not a typical graph that you can see, but I will try to explain to you how this graph works. So as you can see, it has four corners. Uh, first, we have intrinsic motivation. Next is turnover intention next is trust in the organization and the last one is the satisfaction with organization as you can see it says four layers of diamonds so the smallest one is the 0, 0.00 the second one is the 1.00 the third one is the 2.00 and uh, the fourth one is 3.00 so i think i'm not going to explain to you each graph because um this will be explained at the discussion but now i'm gonna jump on the discussion of the study so this research has been conducted through a questionnaire which has been distributed to the employees within the company and the results show the following facts. For employees, more important is security rather than opportunity for personal and professional growth. They prefer to be led by someone else and not to take initiative. The majority of the employees enjoy meaningful jobs and they think that they have the potential to participate in giving useful suggestions, decision making, as well as in solving problems. It is confirmed that they have ambition. The majority of participants did not agree with the statement that it is in the human nature to dislike to work. The average arithmetic value of the first section related to XY theory is 3.17, showing that the survey participants overall prefer managers who run through the Y theory managerial style. Respondents prefer more participative management, meaning um, uh, that they like managers who take risks and uh, who use appropriate position structures that allow employees space and uh, possibility for personal development. So um, in general, respondents can be uh, characterized as more positive because they believe that people are self-motivated by things that challenge them and strive for higher personal accomplishments. Yet, uh, a minor statement like statement 5, most employees actually prefer to be told exactly what to do rather than having to figure out uh, to figure it out for themselves. Then statement seven, most people will not use their initiative or do things that they have been uh, specifically assigned to do. And uh, statement 24, uh, most people are lazy and do not want to work. So um, this implicates that um, some survey participants share the X theory attitude. So the responders who identify themselves with theory X can be characterized as people who have 
of a negative attitude towards other people by saying that people are lazy, they do not have motivation, and they do not try to reach their potential. Now, from an age regarding to perspective, the results show that even the respondents prefer Y theory, managerial style, although there is a slight difference between the oldest respondents' opinions and those who are younger. The oldest are more convinced that uh, the managers in the company practices Y theory, managerial style. And uh, those conclusions are related to the real picture of the leadership style within USJE that has spread into the top middle and line level leaders or managers. The managers in USGE exercise mentoring and team leadership. They use skills such as um, patience, sharing information, trust, give up authority, requested uh, interference, facilitation, troubleshooters, problem solving, um, communication with others, conflict managers, coaching, and other uh, as the theory suggests. And um, by summarizing the answers from other sections in the questionnaire, uh, the overall conclusion is um, that the employees in the company are quite motivated not only by the salary but other factors influence their motivation. The employees have confidence in their company. The results indicate the existence of significant satisfaction with the organization in which they work. And by aging differentiation, the results show that the younger and older employees share the mutual opinion that the company pays a lot of attention to the human factor with the company as a basis for performance improvement, which considers other motivation factors. Some of them include education through various training programs and learning programs, which contribute to the improvement of employees' professional and personal performances in all levels. And here, thinking to seek other work or having ideas about leaving the company is more evident in the first group, um, 20 to 29 years old, and the same with uh, the third group. Uh, which is the 30 to 39 years old. So it shows that these two groups have some doubts and thoughts which can be transformed into intention to leave the company. Um, on the other hand, uh, it does not mean that they are not satisfied with the company, having in mind the fact that many of them do not express their opinion or maybe um, for the place from 40 to 49 years, we can say that they are less motivated than others or feel neglected and uh, less valuable. So I think the company should take into account this fact and reward incentives to further improve the managing and operating conditions and to further improve the system of uh, motivating the employees. So in conclusion, the impressions of leadership style are related to employee satisfaction, their effectiveness, motivation, commitment to job and task, mutual trust, and relationship between managers and employees. So this shows that why theory of management style prevails and that contingent motivation factors are different than salaries like rewards and appreciation are the most important factors in establishing high leadership style and the well-being of the employees. Moreover, the analysis showed that trust and satisfaction within the organization is on a very high level within all generations in the company. This is a result of health environment which exists in the company at all levels. There are rules and regulations for employees to follow. Management is concerned. Management is concerned with high productivity but it believes that this comes through treating its people right. Results also show that the turnover intentions seem to have a reasonable impact on further career development among the youngest employees and on the middle-aged survey participants. This is my personal note about this study. Here in this journal, I've learned that employees attitude also depends on the kind of management style the leaders or managers have. If the leaders or managers follow Theory X management, most likely employees are going to hate their job and become unmotivated. While, if you follow Theory Y management style, surely employees will get motivated. So as you can see, th their behavior at work is really affected by the kind of management style the organization has. I've also learned that no matter what age, employees will prefer to choose a management style that doesn't only focus on the salary, but also to rewards, personal growth, development, well-being, and uh, the healthy environment. The only reason why some employees leave in the company is that they wanted to explore and get better career opportunities. And older employees leave because of personal insecurities. They feel like they are unwanted because of their age and the degree of their work. So that ends my report. Thank you so much for listening.